Hello everyone, it's me Mary or Hawk and welcome back to another video. I tried to film this once, or a couple times actually, but I wanted to do another tarot reading for you guys. It's the 12th of March, it's a Tuesday, uh, 2024, but ultimately this reading is timeless and whoever comes upon this at whatever time, this reading may be meant for you. Obviously take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Not every message is intended for everyone, not every aspect of every message is intended for everyone, but just take the parts that resonate with you. And so with that being said, I... Hope, I uh, not hope, but I ask that you have a question in mind, and if you don't, and you just want to see what happens, that's cool too, but just ask your question now, um, and I'm going to ask that your guides, deities, ancestors, and beings of your best and highest good, um, come through to you through this message for whoever in the collective needs to hear this, and also, if you see me go to my guidebook, it's not because I don't know the meanings, it's because I'm neurodivergent, and sometimes a word is on the tip of my tongue and I struggle to articulate it, and my intuition will guide me to the word that I mean, I'm meaning to say and things that I'm trying to say intuitively picking up on but struggle to pick up on. So with that being said, I'm about to shuffle. I ask that you ask the question or keep it your intention in mind while I do so. And I ask that your guides, deities, ancestors, and beings of your best and the highest good come through to you through this message and really guide you to whatever it is that you need guidance on. Uh, give you perspective essentially um so the first card we have here is the white newman the white newman is sacred animal tarot has two extra cards the white and the black newman and the white newman often speaks to creation and really manifesting what it is that you desire it's really a force of creation a spark of new life um and things of that nature so you're gonna really want to harness your creator energies that source creator energy you're gonna want to harness that when it comes to manifesting what it is that you are desiring the next card we have is the Two of Cups. So perhaps you were um, looking to manifest a relationship of sorts. That could be what's happening. And I ask that you um, ponder what it is that you want in a relationship with someone. Is it romantic? Is it platonic? Is it business? What are you trying to be in harmony with? What thing? It doesn't even have to be a person. It could be a thing or uh, a behavior. What are you looking to manifest in terms of your relationship to something else within a harmonious manner? And so the next card we have, this is reverse, so I'm just going to do this because I was about to flip it up. I often do upright reverse, but this is often saying that you might need to take a step back and learn about whatever it is that you are trying to be in harmony with. And I'm sorry if you hear people in the background speaking loudly. Um, I live with other people in the apartment, but I'm going to go to my card um, guidebook to see what it is that I'm trying to pick up on because I know there's something here. Yeah, th this might point to a refusal to learn in rigid beliefs, and you might need to take a step back and learn more about what it is you're trying to create and manifest. Really learn from other, not only your own um, experiences, but learn from what others have to say and um, try to adapt accordingly. Don't try to copy what they do, but be like, okay, this doesn't seem to work out for most people. Is there a way I can adjust this so it does work out? Or what can I do so that this thing that is really like, new or really unheard of does work out. Like you're going to want to learn about adjacent things so you can get inspiration for how you want to carry forth when it comes to this. And you're going to want to be open to learning, be open to being taught by others. Um, and you're just going to really want to learn um, about what it is you're trying to manifest or put into creation um, so that you have a better idea of what it is. And there's also the Black Newman that comes up, which is interesting with the um, aspects of creation and then destruction so there's also something that might need to be lost you might need to lose or let go of because the black newman often speaks to destruction and loss and um you are going to want to let go of something that is not serving you it is a roadblock to having harmony with the thing that you are trying to manifest a harmonious relationship there is a roadblock perhaps it is the refusal to learn and rigid beliefs you want to let go of that will always be a student in life and that is something to always remember. There is never a point where you will never stop learning. You will always continue to learn no matter where you are, no matter what it is, no matter where you are, you will always, there's always more room to grow and learn. There's never, even experts still have room to grow and learn. So like, don't think that just because you know everything there is to know about this thing. There's always different perspectives. There's always more to learn. Keep learning and let go of that rigid belief thinking and those rigid beliefs essentially like let go of those religious beliefs is what i'm getting at and strength points to inner strength wow we have a lot of um important cards here like like major arcana i'm noticing so this is something really major in your life and you're gonna really want to 
foster, not foster, but you're going to want to really muster up the um, inner strength and courage that you have to get you through these times. Because, you know, adjusting and letting go of things is never easy, but it's for your best and highest go that you let go of rigid thinking and, um, and a unwillingness to learn so that you can grow, so that you can manifest what it is that you desire. Because, you know, often we think that, oh, we're so dead set on um, things being a certain way that we miss out on all these other opportunities that are around us and all these other ways in which it could manifest and we kind of block this manifestation because we're so rigid in our beliefs and our refusal like our dead set on one thing and often we just need to let go and let things happen in divine timing and this is telling you to have strength this is telling you to have strength throughout this because like really utilize your inner strength i'm going to my guidebook again because yeah you're gonna want to endure and overcome these obstacles because yes it's not easy to when things don't happen the way you wanted them to happen or you hope they happened but you're gonna want to try to endure as hard as you can and overcome those obstacles no matter how hard it is it's not easy work but you will learn along the way you will grow along the way and in the process manifest what it is that you desire if it is for your best and highest good if it is a meant to be a healthy and prosperous relationship to whatever it is that you were trying to manifest, you will overcome these obstacles and you will learn along the way and be able to manifest what it is that you desire. It's essentially what I'm getting at. And the Fool, wow. Okay, I'm a lot of major arcana, but again, you are on these new beginnings because you have to let, because you let go and things were destroyed. You're on this newfound beginning, so really you're going to want to learn and you're going to want to Keep optimistic while you're in these new beginnings. Yeah, you're going to definitely want to be optimistic about this and enjoy this freedom. Um, explore where the universe takes you. Don't be so hesitant. Don't live in fear. Like Often, like, our ego, as a means of protecting us, traps us with fear of the what-ifs. But also, those what-ifs could happen, but also the opposite, the good other side of those what-ifs, the opposite of those bad what-ifs could happen. They could happen too. So, like, you're going to be want to be willing to take a risk. Be willing to learn. Be willing to overcome these obstacles that you will face or that you are facing so that you can manifest what it is that you desire. And the last card I have is the Ace of Pentacles, which shows that, again, more new beginnings, but these are going to be prosperous times for you in the end. This is going to be a very prosperous time for you, and you're going to grow. You're really going to grow as a result of these um, new changes within your life. So, um, to recap through this reading, I hope this all of this made sense, but the White Newman says that you're trying to create and manifest something that you desire, and um, the Two of Cups is saying that you are trying to create a harmonious relationship to something, perhaps what it is that you are trying to desire. Um, it could be to someone, something, who knows. Um, the next card we had was the Hierophant Reversed, which is saying that you may be um, trapped or stuck in some way because you feel like you're unable to learn or that you're unwilling or unable to learn and you feel like um really just you feel uh, it's like an unwillingness to learn i on the tip of my tongue but you get the idea you feel like you've learned all there is to learn that you can't you feel kind of unwilling to learn or that there is no more to learn but um and you feel have a lot of limiting beliefs but the black name says to let go of those limiting beliefs and the strength really points to you overcoming those obstacles as a result of letting go. And again, you're going to want to let go of expectations and really enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride on th these new beginnings because this will ultimately be a very prosperous time for you in the end. You just have to be open and receptive to change. You have to be open and receptive to learning and overcoming these obstacles and doing things in a way that you didn't expect to do it in the first place. Now, everything will go as planned or as expected, and sometimes it's often for our best and highest good. What we expect and what we thought was for our best and highest good isn't always actually for our best and highest good. So it's important that we trust the universe, trust the process, and really just try to enjoy the ride while we're on it. It's not always going to be easy. It's not always going to be fun, but if you... Do your best to stay optimistic and just trust the process and trust that what's for your best and highest good will happen in the end. Things will work out and you'll manifest what it is that you desire. I hope this made sense. Thank you for watching this far. If you did, this is Hawk signing out. Thank you for coming along with me on this part of my journey and stay magical.